there, I'm Black Light. Welcome to my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, you can click the thumbs up and the thumbs down. You can share or you sub can subscribe just by clicking on the subscribe button and it'll give you the option to see all or just a few. Um, if it's, you know, I just want to thank my existing subscribers, of course, for commenting, for, you know, sharing, for liking. Thank you very much. Today's video I thought was really, really important because with WhatsApp, we all tend to share things that we are either horrified by or we find funny or it's information sharing, but we do it quite innocently a lot of the time. And this police officer, um, she's been in the force for I think 36 years I'm going to tell you about her in a minute but she's been in the force for 36 years and I'm going to put the link below and her sister sent a whatsapp of sexual abuse and she sent it to her sister because she was saying look what these people have done something needs to be done about it anyway the police officer says she didn't open it, she didn't see it, but nevertheless, she is being prosecuted for having that on her phone. Now, I'm going to need to read it because there's a lot of, um, I don't want to get it wrong, put it that way, but it's just to show you, you know, I've had people send me, because I do these videos, people sending me stuff all the time and it's so scary. You don't know what it is until you open it. I mean, the police are saying that she should have known by the thumbnail what it was about. But unless you can see a man having sex with a child on the thumbnail, how would you know what's in it until you open it? So I think it's pretty scary what can happen to you. And I just need to share it because in a time where people are sharing stuff, you, if you do get any sexual, um, child sexual activity um, and you've actually opened it in error, you need to report it to the police. God forbid if they come if for any reason, they find it on your phone, you're going to be prosecuted as, a, as an accessory for not reporting it. And you know what's sad about that is because if it's a friend that sent it, sent it to you, you're not going to want to betray that friend. And that friend is going to send it to you not realising the implications. You know, a lot of times, you know, we, there's a lot of hype going on and people are actually drawn to the macabre, to the gore, you know, to violence. And they share it and they share it because sometimes they're so shocked or you, I don't even know why people share certain things, but they share it because they want somebody else to see it. And I remember that there was a child, that's it, there was a child where the mother was making the child smoke a spliff, marijuana. The child wasn't even two years old. But that video went around. And it, they traced it back to the mother and the mother was arrested and the child was taken away. Now, she was probably doing it as a joke. It's not funny. But those are the implications of sharing anything to do with children on social media. It's best to avoid them as much as possible. Unless it's a child, you know, maybe going up for an award, they're motivating or they're doing something, you know, you know, childlike. But if they're involved in anything else, I mean, even ones, you get people sending around videos where the parents are beating the child. I don't know why they send those videos. Why? What, what can you get out of that? I don't want to see it. So what do you get out of sending me or anyone else a video of a child being abused by their parent? But they do it. I don't know why they do it. Anyway, let me get back to the point in hand. A, metropoli a metropolitan police chief who was sent an unsolicited video of child sexual abuse via WhatsApp has been convicted of possessing indecent images on her phone. I have to say she's a black woman. Okay. Superintendent Robin Williams, 54, was found guilty by a jury at the Old Bailey and potentially faces 
being sacked after 36 years of distinguished service. William was at the gym class in February 2018 when she was sent the video via WhatsApp on her phone by her sister who was outraged by its content and wanted the person behind it caught. Under the law on possessing indecent images, it was for Williams to prove she had a legitimate reason to have it or that she had not been or that she had not seen the video and did not have reason to believe it was indecent. I guess as a police officer, she should have really, well, the thing is what she's claiming is that she didn't even open it, so she didn't know what it was. I don't know how they found it on her phone. Were they snooping through her phone? I don't know how they found it. Anyway, it doesn't say how they found it. Williams, who had denied possessing an indecent image of a child, looked stunned as the jury delivered its 10 to 1 majority verdict after more than 10 hours of deliberation. She was found not guilty of corruptly failing to report the image after the jury rejected the prosecution's claim that Williams had seen a thumbnail of the image and thus was aware of its serious nature, but failed to report it because she feared getting her sister in trouble. So she was found not guilty of that. Williams maintained she never saw the thumbnail. It was accepted that she never played the one minute video. The prosecution alleged Williams was lying to protect her sister. Williams, who was honoured for her work after the Grenfell fire disaster, is one of the most senior female African Caribbean police officer. The jury heard that she was the founder member of the National Black Police Association. She helped set up a gay police association, campaigned for more women in policing and has received the Queen's Police Medal. So she's really up there. So I can't imagine her knowing the consequences and keeping that on her phone. I just cannot imagine it. But justice is not fair in this country. Her sister and co-defendant, Jennifer Hodge, 56, was convicted of distributing an indecent image of a child. She sent it via WhatsApp to 17 people, including her sister Williams. Hodge had been sent it by her partner, D Dido Masivi, 61, and he was convicted of distributing two indecent images and possessing an extreme image. You see what can happen. The video was sent to Williams on a Saturday and the next day she spent several hours with her sister. At one point in a police interview, Hodge said she had mentioned the video to her sister but later said she had not. I don't know if that's speculation or hearsay. Um, the prosecutor Richard Wright QC, opening the case, made it clear the defendants had no sexual interest in the images. This is instead a case in which we allege that each of them made serious errors of judgment about how to handle this. How to handle this video in dealing with it as they did. Each of them has committed serious criminal offences. Now let me ask you, Somebody sends you an indecent image of a child having sex. Just supposing. You see it, you're horrified. Would you delete it? Would you share it to somebody who you think will be equally shocked? And if so, would you know that you were committing a criminal offence by not taking that image and taking it to the police for that person who sent it to you to be prosecuted? To be honest, I wouldn't have known that. I know we should not have indecent images on our phone, but I would have just deleted it. I wouldn't have thought I would need it. I would need to report it to the police. That's why I'm doing this video. It's really, really important. You let people know 
not to send any images of any children doing anything other than playing or being cute. After sending the video, Hodge sent a message expressing her outrage about the video. Sorry, had to send this. It's so sad that this person would put this out. Please post this and let's hope he gets life. So it looks like the man who was doing it was actually videotaping it. The clown say that, the, that 40 minutes later, Williams opened WhatsApp. Wright said she would have seen a tile thumbnail that showed the first frame of the video. It would have been clear and we say it would have been immediately obvious exactly what it was, an indecent video of a child. That's not true. When you have thumbnails, you just see a blur until you click play. You do not know what that video is, thumbnail or no thumbnail. And how do you know that that thumbnail didn't just show a, a part of the room? How can they say that she saw the thumbnail and she knew what it was? You can't say that. With WhatsApp, sometimes when I want to upload an image from WhatsApp and I want to upload it on Facebook, I have to be there playing it and looking through it and let it play a little bit before I even know what it is to make sure I've got the right video. So that is not that is not true. That's not accurate, that she should have known by the thumbnail. But all I'm saying is be careful. Another person who was sent the video by Hodge reported it to the police. An investigation began and identified Williams as one of those who received the video. After the verdict, the Deputy Assistant Commissioner responsible for professionalism, Matthew Horn said, the prosecution called this a sad case and referred to the serious errors of judgment made by those involved. The court heard that Superintendent Williams has led a distinguished career in policing and previously been commended for her professionalism. The thing is, number one, I'd love to know how they knew it was on her phone. I'd love to know that. But the second thing is, is that if she knew the consequences of reporting that image that was sent to her sister, sent by her sister, would she have tried to protect her sister? In the end, she had to say it was her sister anyway. But may, you know, I'm just saying, that is a possibility. It's just like if my daughter sent me an inappropriate um, image, am I really going to call the police and get her prosecuted when she did it without thinking, error of judgment, not knowing? I mean, people talk about, oh, you mustn't send indecent images, but you just think that you mustn't send it. You don't realise that there are such serious consequences for it. And that's why I think this is so important. The Independent Office for Police Conduct is carrying out an independent misconduct investigation into the actions of Superintendent William and we will await the outcome. So they're not going to let it go. I hate to say it's because there's a black woman, you know, but any time a black person does something wrong, especially when they're in a position of power, they have to pay double the penalty anyone else, a white, their white equivalent would pay. To the white equivalent, they just hush hush it up and sleep under the carpet. But a woman of that high esteem in the police force, they have to make her an example, which is a shame. But there again, you know, it, if she she should have really spoke to members of her family, because this is a relatively new legislation. If she had spoken to members of her family, like I would. I'm doing this video, but I would make sure I send that the newspaper article, which I'm going to put below, I make sure I send that to anyone I care about so that they know that these are the consequences. And that is why I'm doing this video, because once the once the horse is bolted, there's nothing you can do. If your daughter or a friend or a relative sends you an indecent image of a child, you, if you don't report it, then 
don't your relatives are going to be um, prosecuted. Well, they'll be prose you'll be prosecuted and they'll be prosecuted. So it's forewarned is forearmed. Let them know the consequences of sending anything that's obscene, that's violent, that's um, antagonistic. There's lots of it. WhatsApp has got actually WhatsApp has got terms have got terms of um, service of conditions of service. And underneath that, I'm just going to run through them at the end quickly, so you know what you can send for what you want. But I think common sense will tell you what you should be able to send. The other day, somebody sent me something where um, these black men were being all chopped up or something. I mean, I deleted it. It was so gross. Apparently, it's what Haitians are doing to black people, to Jamaicans, actually. Um, it was absolutely horrific. And... Um, but now after, you know, when you read something like that, okay, that is not obscene. Well, it could be considered obscene, but it's not, um, it's not inciting violence. It doesn't involve children. I think that there's got a few criterias. But, you know, you just don't know what people are going to send you. Okay. Um, Williams remains on restricted duties at this stage. The officer who at the time was the borough commander for Sutton in South London, told the jury she never saw the image of a man sexually assaulting a girl and would have taken immediate action if she had. If I'd seen anything remotely like that, I would have simply, I would have simply, and then I am on speed dial to my chief inspector. I would have called my lead for safeguarding and asked what was the best possible way to get this evidence into the chain of action so we could safeguard and best protect the child. Simple phone call, no discussion. All three will be sentenced on the 26th of November. Supporters of Williams were aghast that she was put on trial when there was no evidence she played the video. Some in policing were also concerned that this case appeared to show a black officer being picked on, threatened with humiliation and ruined plus jail. The Police Superintendents Association and Black Police Association asked the Met to review the case five times but the force has declined. So that is terrible, terrible and it's third party liability, it's not even her and they've got no proof she shot, saw it on her phone and yet she's going to do time for that. Her career, her life is ruined. And you can imagine a police officer going in jail. Anyway, staying safe with WhatsApp, I'm just going to um, do this briefly. The safety and security of you and your messages matters to us. We want you to know about the tools and features we've designed to help you to stay safe while using WhatsApp. We also provide some links to other resources that can help you and generally stay safe online. Activities on WhatsApp that are prohibited. Sharing or submitting content in the status, profile photos or messages that's illegal, obscene, defamatory, threatening, intimidating, harassing, hateful, racially or ethnically offensive, or instigates or encourages conduct that would be illegal or otherwise inappropriate, violates, is in violation of their terms of service. They will ban a user if they believe that, that the user is violating their terms of service. WhatsApp does not retain messages after they've been delivered in an ordinary course of providing our service. Once a message is delivered over WhatsApp to help ensure the safety, confidentiality and security of the messages you send, they, uh, they don't store the message. However, when you share a chat, photo, video, file or voice message with someone else on WhatsApp, they'll have a copy of these messages. They'll already have the ability to reshare these messages with others on and off WhatsApp. So 
So, advanced safety and security features. Report issues to WhatsApp. You can send reports to WhatsApp by contacting, by contacting them inside the app. On an Android, simply go to WhatsApp, tap more options, settings, help, contact us. On the iPhone, simply go to WhatsApp, settings, help, contact us. On Windows Phone, simply go to WhatsApp, menu, settings, about, support. And then they ask that you please provide as much information as possible. So that's it, people. I do hope um, this is helpful and useful. Um, I've put this in red. We encourage you to report problematic content to us. Please keep in mind that to help ensure the safety, confidentially, confidentiality and security of your messages, we generally don't have the content or messages available to us, which limits our ability to verify the report and take action. When needed, you can take a screenshot of the content and share it along with any available contact information with appropriate law or enforcement authorities. So, yeah, so I guess if that happens in the future, that's what you have to do. And that's all for now, peeps. Bye-bye.